this very special episode of Jamdong Drones, we're going to be looking at the optical sensors and the vision sensors of the DJI Mini SE. And also, we're going to be taking a little peek at the DJI Mavic Air 2, as these sensors are also found on this drone. Optical flow sensors and vision sensors. The optical sensor is a very very important piece of hardware found on a lot of drones these days. The optical sensor works by taking a large number of pictures in a very short period of time and as the drone moves through the air the corresponding pixels of those pictures will change in position and that's the way the drone is able to map its movement as well as its position in 3D space. So with this in mind, you want to make sure that you clean your lens or the outer part of the sensor every time before you fly. So you could say that the optical flow sensor in addition to the GPS on board kind of gives us a very clear idea as to the actual speed of the drone even when it's far away from us. As for vision sensors, they are typically used widely across industries not just by the droning manufacturers. Vision sensors work a little bit differently from optical sensors in the sense that they are able to sense the presence, position, they are able to sense the orientation as well as the condition of objects that it views. So you could say that the vision sensor is way more detailed than the optical sensor and certainly it would give far more information. There are vision sensors that can see in just purely black and white and it would be guided by the light intensity bouncing off of objects viewed and then there's also the RGB type of vision sensors that would more or less detect colors in the surrounding in red, greens and blues and of course you can imagine that a sensor of this type would be way more accurate given the purpose for which it is All this designed. data is taken from the vision sensors and the optical sensors and relayed to the processor of the drone which in turn interprets the data and applies it accordingly based on programming. Additionally, drone fans, just like the optical sensor, you want to keep these sensors clear of any debris, dirt, or blockage. This is to ensure that you get the best flight each time you put your drone up in the air, and it also ensures that it's a safe flight each time you put your drone up in the air. So make sure that each of these sensors are properly cleaned before you go launching. If this video has provided any useful information, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I post videos on a weekly basis. These vision sensors are able to detect unsafe landing areas. So for example, if the DJI Mini SC was to, say, try landing on water, the sensors would detect that it is unsafe, and you'd get a message in the app. Now, this is just one of the pros of having these sensors on the drone. Again, they are like the eyes of the drone. Similarly, if there is no light around, that is, if there is no light source for the vision sensors to take pictures of the surrounding area, then the drone will begin to wander aimlessly around and you might end up with an accident. So that's the reason why when the time gets very late in the day and the lighting falls, you'll often get a warning that it's just not bright enough for the drone to operate. So drone fans, the vision sensor and the optic sensor not just our eyes are the drone, but it also allows us to have a very safe flight by detecting obstacles and getting out of the way. Is there anything else that you'd like to know about this fantastic drone? Don't forget to comment down below. Until then, it's Jamdong Drones, over and out.